hi guys it's Vanessa here and welcome to my channel if you're new and thank you for stopping by um, so today we are starting with well I'm starting with this collaboration with Shaniqua which is Lala's creation here on YouTube and then along with amazing creative ladies as well here on youtube so each of us are going to upload a video every saturday for the month of october and this is my first project for shake it up saturdays and i'm really excited i love the way that it came out and um yeah so before we start i just want to say that this thank you card was was inspired by nurse tara 04 here on youtube she she, uh, she was the first uh lady that i saw that came up with this and so i did previously made some uh but um this time i had this pack of no card that of um thank you cards or cards and i wanted to give it a nice different shape so um i used this uh, so I will explain what I do or I will show you what I used and kind of explain what I did throughout the video and um, yeah as we go so the first thing uh, I'm just gonna let you look at it and what I did is that the car it's actually this shape right here I kind of line it with a pink marker by art markers i got this and um tuesday morning tuesday morning not too long ago and it was i think 6.99 for 30 markers so i thought that was a really good deal so i got those and um i lined them i line it up as well as the envelope then um for my base which is my car i use this studio g car and envelopes for crafting i purchased this at the 99 cent store uh, and they had different designs unfortunately when i went back to get another pack because i wasn't sure if i would need another one um they were gone i couldn't find them so if you see them grab them because they're probably gonna be gone so i use this and i will show you how it looks uh out of the package so this is actually the actual car and um, what I did is that I use my scoreboard to do a square inside and then with my cutting um, cutting tool I just cut it to on on the scores and make it a nice square in there and then on this side I use a paper to um, as a background and I use this pad right here which is favorite tanks by Haiti Swap and this is a six by six paper pad um, I recently well actually I got this this week on a this stash as well and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw that I post a lot on my history a lot of um, goodies that I show you and so this pad came in there if you don't follow me I will link that below as well so you can go and check me out and you definitely should should follow me because I post almost every day in there whatever I'm working on or whatever project I made that day or you know something but I do post daily so I use this pad and I think I use this yeah this is the background paper of the car which is let me see <laughs> this one right here so this is the background of the car and let me as you can see right there and then for the background uh, of the or to layer my envelope to 
to layer my envelope, I cut a 5 and 1 8 by 5 and 1 8 um, piece of paper from the same pad. And let me see if I can find it. I use this one right here, this white and green polka dot to line my envelope. As you can see right there. And then I just layer those two up and I I use my fuse tool. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> not shake a lot. But I use my fuse tool to uh with a a protective sheet to do my my shaker pocket and then the shaker I just a bunch of different um, sequins this is what I got left from the from the um, from the uh, mix and I definitely can use it to do another card uh, I most of them are if not all of them are from the uh, it's from car right sequins and yeah I think all of them are from car right sequins so um, yeah so I will put her, uh, their main link on my description box as well if you want to check them out if you haven't uh, I will have to say that the colors are kind of tricky to pick but once you I mean you figure out you're good to go so I also use my scissors to cut, you know, different stuff. And then for the adhesive that I use, I use my tacky glue to glue my papers, like my background papers. And then as well of this amazingly adorable Ephrema award or uh, sign. And then to um, and then I use some score or red tape um, double sided tape um, to glue my card to the envelope and then also to glue my shaker pocket to the card I use the same thing and then to make it a little um, a little uh, dimensional I use some foam tape I got this Oh, I forgot to mention, I got this one at um, Tuesday morning for $2.99. And then the foam mounting tape, I got this at the $0.99 cent store for uh, $0.99, cents, I guess. And then I used some washi. I used this skinny one from the uh, Dollar Tree. And then I used this one. And this, one's, this, uh, this one came from the Solid Colors from the recollections tip from Michaels and I use that to line my tab of the envelope and then as well um, I forgot to mention that this amazingly adorable uh, word came from this um, Haiti Swap Freema pack and I got this on my this stash as well just this week so I wanted it to, you know, get my hands and work with it, play with that. And then <clears throat> I use as well the some of this orange rainstones to, you know, just put a little shiny or a little, yeah, some a little uh, shine onto my car. So I put a few here and there around the car and then some on this O and the um, punctuation here so this is my first saturday shake it up project i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope it's not too long for just one project but i did wanted it to share with you what i use in case you want to recreate that uh, i will link below nurse tara 04 and to see so you can check her out if you haven't i'm sure you know who i'm talking about because she is amazing she has amazing projects always sharing and so yeah uh thanks for watching guys see you in the next one and happy weekend bye bye